join my walkabout in the piney woods of East Texas. I'll show you several interesting plants. You'll learn how to make an A-frame chair. I'll start a campfire by rubbing two sticks together. And finally, you will learn how to relax with passion vine tea. If you look around in the forest, you'll see all sorts of interesting things. Here is a, a passion vine, and it is a plant with three lobed leaves and tendrils. Uh, the flowers are quite beautiful. Uh, it is used to make a relaxation sedative tea. And also it's the host plant to fritillary caterpillars. And here you see some, that's a fritillary caterpillar. And there's some more over here. Next to it is the American Beauty Berry. And the American Beauty Berry has a unique smell to it. I like the smell of it. And it repels mosquitoes. So I rub the plant on me. And if I'm camping, I like to choose a spot where there are American Beauty Berries. And I don't get very many mosquito bites. This is the sensitive plant, and it's a really interesting plant. If you touch the leaves, they close up. See how they're closing? If you touch the leaves, they close. Uh, scientists aren't exactly sure why they do that, but one idea is that by moving upon touch, it frightens away insects or other small animals that might eat them. And so it's a defense mechanism. The ground here feels quite spongy. It's soft thanks to the earthworms that are bringing up soil from down below. You can see the mounds of dirt that they've left. It's beginning to cover this stick. And then there's also some of the sand left on leaves that are around here. I'm making an A-frame chair. The design is modified from what I saw on Bushcraft Barton's channel. Thanks, Mike. Now I will attempt to make a friction fire by rubbing two sticks together with a bow drill. If I am successful, it'll be my second friction fire. Beginning to get smoke. See if we have a coal here.
My second friction fire. Success at last. I'm getting water from the lake. The cloth is used to filter out large particles. Okay, the water is boiling now. It should be purified. I'm going to take it off the flame and add passion vine, dried pa pa passion vine leaves. These are passion vine leaves, passion flower leaves. Uh, I collected them last week and let them dry uh, to make passion flower tea. Uh, this tea is a relaxation tea. Uh, after taking a couple cups of this, the world will be beautiful, your aches and pains will go away. It was used um, by the Native Americans, and in Latin America the leaves are also smoked. It, uh, it also eliminates aches and pains. It really is a wonderful relaxation tea. So I've got a, oh, a couple tablespoons of leaves in there, and I'll put it back on the fire. You can e either take the um, make the you can either make the tea with dried leaves or fresh leaves. However, the dried leaves have a, a little smoother flavor, in my opinion. I'll let that um, I'll just seep a little bit for about ten minutes, and then we'll have tea. The tea should be ready now. I like my tea with a little bit of honey in it. It sure looks good.